cansado pra caralho, ele tá cheio de chupo. Ah, comeu um pônei. I hadn't slept in days. I needed something to keep me going. The Imperial Palace Hotel was a five-star bona fide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the busload and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs.
I knew this thing was bigger than me. Bigger than the Broncos. But I only had a glimpse of the whole picture. Like looking in the mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees. A bad caricature of a better man. Buffet. That deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the Crash of Prado. Now we just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. De Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get him out of here. Go. Go. Wait. I said get. Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution.
This was hell on earth. De Silva was no fool. I'd have driven on off into the sunset too if I were him. But I was in too far now. If I'd thought about this too much, I'd never get through it. Trust me, please, please. What have you been doing? I have a lot of money. Look, look, lots of money. I do important research, please. Caralho! Caralho! Espera, espera. Eu posso explicar tudo. Tudinho. Deus, por favor, não me mata! Não, não! Pelo amor de Deus! E aí, doutor? For all Serrano owed me, he paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. Even I could guess what Demolisao meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. They had a fucking arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground. So I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. seen some dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then, true to form, more of the rats came out of their holes.
least my visitors have been kind enough to leave the gate open. Where those bastards were going, they wouldn't need medication. It was time to see what VIP treatment awaited me on the penthouse floor. I'd bought had been going real cheap. If I was gonna plant the rest of those explosives, I had to do it now. I was at the top of this house of cards. Now is the time to play my ace. I had one chance to do this right. I had to focus. seemed a shame to waste the rest of the C4.
That was the last of the explosives. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building. And all the evil in it. Vai, vai, rápido, rápido, vai! Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? Come on, anybody? Wanna be a hero? I got nothing to lose, let's do it! Que porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senor Nevis! What the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> my problem? My problem? Wanna know what my problem is? You're turning humans into glue! That's what my fucking problem is! I don't know what you're talking about, American! All I know is what I hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead. You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You are a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried. Well done with your effort. The whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? Legitimate? You're stealing people's organs! We pay for everything! We have the record! Oh, so people can sell their livers? Their hearts? Their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck! We kept people safe in the city! Decent people! Safe! I know a lot of powerful people. Well, your powerful people aren't gonna help you out of this one, buddy.
told you the city was dangerous, friend. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's growing on me. <laughs> nice to see your happy tourists smiling. <laughs> What are you doing here? I came back. I can see that. But why? To save you. Wow, oh, yeah, real hero. Listen, Listen now, come with me, Max, to Brazil. Give me a chance to play the fall guy in a plot that my boss and brother's hatching to profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. Get into loosen the purse strings and the family money. They pressured me into doing it. You wanna die? I came back for you. I did my best. I'm having a kid, Max. I gotta go. Fuck you. Sure. Later. Now, let's go. I hope this thing works. Everything. No, you don't. I'm sorry I couldn't save your sister. I was there. It wasn't your fault. I was paid to protect her, and I didn't. She married into a sick family. Maybe. I... I just wanted to say thank you for giving us a chance to live. I mean, as a family. I hope it all works out for you, for all of you. Thank you. Don't be too long. Buddy, that's it. Where are you guys gonna go? Uh, I don't know, maybe back to New York, uh, maybe down to Argentina. Giovanna has family in Salvador. Maybe we'll just stay there. Yeah, I got business to take care of. Uh, I I'm sorry I, I dragged you into this. I, I know, uh, I, I know it was very wrong. It's all right, it's done. But hey, I'm having myself a fun old time. Maybe this is how things had to be. Figure I. Might as well die in the sunshine as die in the snow. Look, I'm sorry I'm leaving. I, I got a kid coming, you know? you know how it is. I know how that is. You know, I... I almost didn't say goodbye to you. I said to myself, maybe this guy will put a bullet in me. <laughs> maybe I will. But not right now. Thank you. Try to look after yourself, Max, huh? Life is worth living. If you say so, pal. I thought I was going to have to witness another murder. <laughs> nah. Not him. You ready? I guess. Okay. I've uh, looked through this information you gathered. It's not very nice. What is it? It's the Ufe. The famous Mr. Becker. Friend of Victor Bronco. <laughs> yes. And a contributor to his campaigns. A government employee, of course. And? A weapons dealer. A murderer. This was known. A dealer in human organs. This wasn't known. A proper gentleman. Hmm, sure. So you're gonna bring him down? <laughs> yes, because I want to lose my wife and my children and then get killed myself. All that after watching him walk free. Tell me what has to be done. Well, officially, there's uh, nothing I can do. And unofficially? Well, we can always try something a little more creative. Creative? De Silva had promised me a 10 o'clock showcase. I had to make sure I was on stage and ready for my close-up. Diga a Becker. Que vim para ele. Ah! Hey, what 
aqui. Tropa, tropa. Ei, moço. Mano, o que é esse cara aí? É da tua conta, rapaz. Vai, vai. Conta do Deus. Meu conta do Deus. Tomara a culpa. Ela não desgruda dela, mano. Ei, quem é essa cara aí? Convidado nosso. Quebra esse otário aí. Deixa comigo, me dá uma lição nele. <risos> então, o pai dela não desgruda. Filha da puta! Não vai te fuder aqui, filha da Tá pensando o quê? Ah? Onde é que você vem? Ah! 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 Hey, what are you doing here? Huh? I ask you a question. Answer him. Answer him. What, what? are you doing? What? What are you doing here? 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 I don't understand. I can't hear you. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Hit me in the ear. Hey, answer me. What are you doing here? Back in the precinct after all this time. Time to find out what the hell is going on. I knew nothing resembling good times lay beyond that gate, but I was gonna have to face the music sooner or later. <laughs> 